Good morning, students. Today's class, we are going to look the last chapter, row six on the rule of the row by A. J. Gordina. Let us move on to the last chapter, rows on the rule of the row, written by A. J. Gardiner. Take your book, page number 177. Okay, let us move on to the about the author. A. J. Gardiner is the full name as a Alfred George Gardiner. Okay, A. J. Gardiner, Alfred George Gardiner. He was born in the year 1865 and died on 1946. Okay, and the place of Chelmsford at UK, right? In the place of Chelmsford at UK, he was born and he is a British journalist and an author also, right? And his essays are on habits, on being tidy, on talk and talkers, of his essays and other works he has written, many other works, and that is the pillars of the society and pebbles on the shore of the other works, okay? Now move on to our, uh, the about the author, take the page, page number 179. Let us move on to the about the author, right? Okay. Alfred George Gordiner was a British journalist and author. So I'll, to, I'll to tell, told you about Alfred George Gardiner. He is a British journalist and also an author, right? He was a prolific essayist and his style and subject matter easily qualified him to be categorized as what the English would call a very civilized gentleman. So as he is an essayist and he is a writer, his essays and writings, everything, how it should be, means very simple and easiest for the readers, right? So what he is, uh, he is called as, uh, he is the gentleman of the uh, civilized persons, right? So easily as his essays, everything is going and reaching the people. So he will be called as a civilized for the gentleman, right? So this is uh, famous for him. And his essays include, what are the essays I have said already? On habits, on being tidy, on talk and talkers. These are the essays he has written. And was included in one of the gardener's compilation titled Leaves in the Winds. So this is where it is uh, compiled together in the book of Leaves in the Wind is the heading of that. And was published under his pseudonym. Pseudonym means, what is meant by pseudonym? His pen name, right? So writers, they have their one, another one name for their writings. Everybody they will be having that will be called as a pseudonym. That is pen name he has. So in that name only he has written, what is that name? Alpha of the Pluff, right? Underline the word Alpha of the Pluff. That is the thing he has uh, written the uh, leaves in the wind in that name, right? Okay. So I already told you about his uh, other uh, uh, works, that is the pillars of the society and pebbles on the shore of the other works he has written, right? So now you know about uh, Alfred George uh, Gardiner. Let us move on to the lesson on the rule of the road, right? By A.J. Gardiner. What is the heading? On the rule of the road, right? So now everyone you have heard of the rules and regulations, right? Where are the places you have heard of these rules and regulations? Yeah, in schools you have a lot of rules, right? Whether you like to follow the rules in the schools? No, many rules you don't like. You wanted to change some rules, right? Okay, and whether you like to follow some rules in the traffic? Yeah, we have a lot of rules and regulations in the traffic. We have helmet, uh, uh, have the license and then to drive. So like this, uh, be, uh, below the age of 18, you should not drive the vehicle. So like this, many rules and regulations are there in the society, right? Yeah. So, but you people won't like to follow these rules, is it? Whether you like to follow these rules? No. Even the small instructions, what is given in the schools also, you people won't like to follow. So, right. So now we are going to see about what is that on the rule of the road. So there are some rules in the road, right? So what are the rules we are going to follow in the road? What rules? Yeah, some of the rules which you have to go, only the, on the pedestrians you have to walk, right? So you should not uh, cross the road without the uh, uh, signal information, okay? And helmet is must. Like this, many other rules are there when you have to follow, when you are driving or when you are walking on the road, right? So about that only we are going to see in this lesson on the rule of the road. Clear? Yeah? So 
many rules and regulations it will be making you perf you to be a perfect and sometimes you don't like that rules right so such things we are going to see about what is personal liberty freedom and what is the public liberty we are going to see right what is personal freedom you have freedom to do lot of works is it you can walk wherever you like you will say it is my freedom to go there and here like that is it and public liberty what is mean by public liberty in the public place how you have to follow right so whether you can uh, as you wish you cannot go and enjoy in the place of public right so the people will be scolding you there is a police will be come and uh, asking you to stop your works if you are doing unnecessarily in the place of public right so like this we have to separate some uh, instructions some situations i am going to give you you have to separate that is, is it a personal freedom or it is a public liberty you are going to split that okay so i am going to give you some situations you can think it on that so here coloring the hair red so nowadays a very stylish way you people are able to color your head in the parlor right so you are going to color your head according to your wish so it comes under the personal freedom or it is disturbing the public whether it is going to disturb any uh, towards the public if you color your hair is it a disturbance for others it is not going to disturb any others means you can mention right that in the personal freedom right it is your own personal however it is your appearance you are going to color it you are going to uh, make it a very designed ma ma manner whatever it does as what you are going to do it is a your own wish right it is a personal freedom it is not going to affect the thing and another one situation let me give you hearing the music so when you are able to hear your music sir with using the headphones whether it is going to disturb anyone if it is not going to disturb anyone you can write that in your personal freedom and next situation is uh, having a skating skating is a your own uh, wish you can uh, drive in your own area your own place you are going to skate uh, and uh, it is not going to disturb any other persons right okay cycling on the isolated road so if it is a separate place is there that you are going and cycling whether it is going to disturb any person if it is no you can write it in the personal freedom and next one is public liberty i am going to give you something so that is talking over the phone in the public place very loud or you are in the common place that you are going to have your mobile phones and in a very louder voice you are talking to someone whether it will be disturbance for the public for people yeah if it is a disturbance you can write that in the public liberty and next one is uh, um using the mobile phone while driving so many people you might have seen the persons uh, while driving they are using the mobile phones right so that whether it is a disturbance for the others yeah mostly it may may occur into a accident so this kind of a liberty is whether it is a public liberty or personal liberty you are going to split and write right so let us move on to the warm up first take the page from the pictures given below identify the actions that may cause inconvenience and discomfort to others discuss so what are the pictures it is given here you can see that what are the pictures is going to make the uh, persons very discomfortable and uncomfortable it is making to that one you can make it may mention that right so first one is talking over the phone in the public place whether it is a uh pub, personal one it is whether it is going to uh, affect the public or not yeah it will be affecting the public right so you can mention that in the public liberty second one is driving over and making a call that is also will be affecting into an accident right third one is coloring your hair that is it is your personal freedom doesn't matter it is not going to hurt any others so it is your own wish and the fourth one is hearing the music using the headphone and hearing the music it is not going to affect any person so you can write that in the personal freedom next one is skating and the next one is cycling on the isolated road this is not going to hurt anyone so it is comes under the personal freedom so you understood what are the things will be coming in the place of personal freedom and public liberty right so classify these pictures to show what they depict personal freedom or public liberty so in the place of that you can try first one it is given already personal freedom it is given coloring the hair red that is given already so next point you can write hearing the music go for writing that hearing the 
music. Next third point, skating. In the personal freedom you can write skating. And fourth point you can write cycling on the isolated road. Cycling on the isolated road. Okay. Next to heading public liberty you can write talking over the phone in public hall. Talking over the phone in public hall. And using mobile phones while driving. Using mobile phone while driving. So, with the warm up you have completed, right? So, now you understood what is personal freedom and what is public liberty, right? So, whatever you are without hurting others, if you are doing it, will be called as a personal freedom. And if it is a disturbance for the others, it will be called as a public liberty, right? So, many of the school uniforms or these are the rules and regulations which you don't follow, everything, what it is going to happen? It is becomes under the place of public liberty because it is going to not only your appearance, so not only your dressings, it is going to hurt the other children also, right? So, you should not do such an activity. So, this is the instruction it is giving in the schools right so you have to follow if it is in a public place how the dressing it should be done in the public or in the schools how it is asked to do you have to follow that right so in the public place in the schools if, if, if you are coloring coming it is a disturbance for the other students so if you are coloring your hair red or if you are straightening your hair or if you are curling your hair whatever you want to do you can do it if you are at home right if you are coming to school what will happen it will be disturbance for the other children also so what you have to do you have to avoid that this is the thing instruction basic instructions we are going to learn from this lesson clear okay now let us move on to the lesson take a book and we'll go i'll go for the lesson let us start that a stout old lady was walking with her basket down the middle of a street in the Petrograd to the great confusions of the traffic and with no small peril to herself. So now we are going to start that lesson. We are going to see about the lady who is a stout old lady. So we are going to see about a stout old lady. You can see in that nearby picture also what the lady is doing. She is walking on that uh, middle of the street in the place of Petrograd is a place, right? In that street, in the Petrograd street, what she is doing, a stout old lady walking with her basket in the middle of the street. So have you seen any persons walking in the middle of the street like this? Very rare, right? No persons, all the people, they will be walking in the proper pedestrians where they have to walk that place they will be walking right so nobody will be crossing in between and they will not be walking few will be there to disturb that right so where the vehicle has to go that place the vehicle has to uh, move and the people in between if they come what will happen there will be an accident may occur right so now we are going to see about a lady who is walking with a basket back in the middle of the street in the place of Petrograd. So with what she is doing, she is making that confusion. Confusion means making a mess in the traffic, right? So it, is, it will be collapsed down, right? So like that places, with no small peril to herself. What do you mean by peril? Risk. But she is walking very, uh, very casually in that street. There is no any risk is taken for her. She is walking very casually. Nothing is going to happen to her. Very casually she is walking on that place. It was pointed out to her that the pavement was the place for pedestrians. But she replied, I am going to walk where I like. Where we have got liberty now. So the people, uh, whoever is looking into this, they what they are doing? They are pointing out to that lady and they are telling that there is a place for the pedestrians. Pedestrians means, what is meant by pedestrians are? The person who walk, can walk on the streets, they, there is a place separately that they can walk, right? So this is the place you have to walk like that. Somebody is pointing out and they are telling to this old lady. So when somebody is instructing or somebody is giving an information to you, what you suddenly you will reply. So if somebody is in the, uh, we are go on this example of the school itself. So if somebody is giving a instructions, this is the school rules you have to follow like this. When the, somebody is telling what the reply you will say, it is my uniform. It is my hair. I will cut how according to my wish. This is my dress. 
So this is the replay usually you used to give, right? Is it or not? Yes. So this lady, old lady also, what she is going to tell, she is replaying to the people who is pointing out that she has to walk in the pedestrians, what she is replaying, I am going to walk wherever, where I like. So wherever she wants, she will be walking. That is her freedom she got. So we have got liberty now. So what she is replaying, now we have got liberty, then why you are asking me to walk in the particular place? It is my liberty wherever I can walk. That is a reply the lady is giving to the people. It do not occur to the dear old lady that if liberty entitled the pedestrian to walk down the middle of the road, then the end of such liberty would be a universal choice. Choice means it is a confusion. So totally it is going to get confusions. So you can imagine that if this lady is telling according to that, it is my wish. Wherever I wanted, I would be walking through that way, she is replaying. Imagine that each and every people in the road, if they replay like this, what will happen? Can you imagine? So each and every person, whoever is walking on that way, if they are replaying like this, it is my wish, my way, wherever I wanted, I will be walking. If they replay, what will happen? There will become a very great term, confusions. There will be a very great choice, a universal choice. A great term, confusions will be there in the place. The people who wanted to work, drive the car will not be able to walk. The people who wanted to walk will not be able, uh, able to walk it properly. So there will be a lot of disturbance in that place, right? So like this it will happen. So what we have to do, we have to follow the rules properly, right? This is the instruction is going to be given in this lesson. What is that? On the rule of the road. What is that? We have to, we cannot say that it is my wish. Wherever I wanted to go, I can go like this. If the person is telling, then every person will start to say the same thing and it will become a universal choice. Universal choice means what I have said? Confusion. Right? Underline the word and write the meaning. Choice means confusion. Clear? Okay. So let us move on to the next paragraph. Everybody would be getting in everybody else way and nobody would get anywhere. So what will happen if everybody is getting into everybody's ways? So if the people is going on the street means the uh, uh, person who is driving on the road, they also will come to the people where they wanted to walk. Means everybody will get into a confusion, right? So everybody has to go in their own way. Right? The people who has to walk in the pedestrian has to walk only on that. The people has to drive on the road will go on that way. So if it is changed, if it is exchanged, what will happen? It will get into your confusions. Right? An individual liberty would have become social anarchy. So what will happen if your yeah, individual person is doing their work? It is my liberty, it is my freedom. If the person says what will happen, it will become a social an uh, anarchy means it will get into their, their peace of mind, everything will be collapsed up. So lawlessness, anarchy means that is a lawlessness. Without law, they will be able to follow that, right? So this will happen for that. So what we have to do? Individual liberty, we should be proper way. There is a danger of the world getting liberty drunk in these days like the old lady with the basket and it is just as well to remind ourselves of what the rule of the road means. It means that in order that liberties of all may be preserved, the liberties of everybody must be cut tied. So now we have seen about one lady, old lady with a basket. She is just doing her own self. She is uh, not moving in her proper way where she has to walk. She is going according to that. So it means, what is that means? The rule of the road, what does it mean is, we have each and everybody, they took their own liberty. Means it will be collapsed. So what we have to do? We have to cut time. What, mean, what is meant by cut time? Reduced. So you have to reduce your own personal liberty. Right? So everybody, it is my liberty, my freedom. If you say it will not be good in the society. So what we have to do, we have to cut short. We have to reduce our own liberty. So our own liberty means we have to uh, tell that uh, this is my own way, this is my uh, dress, this is uh, my hair, like this. We cannot tell it in the public places. Uh, what we have to do, we have to cut short all that liberty. Right? If you cut short all this liberty, your own personal liberty, in the society when you come, it will be good. It will become in a proper way. It will become in an order way. So we have to follow some rules for curtailing our own 
personal liberty. Got it? Have you got the difference between personal liberty and public liberty? Right? So when we cut short our own liberty, personal liberty, when it is come to the society, it will be happiness. Right? Okay. So when the policemen say at the Piccadilly Circus, now let us move on to the next word, underline that word Piccadilly Circus. Right, Piccadilly Circus is the uh, place where uh, uh, four roads also joining in the one place, right? So, uh, four sides, uh, from four way, four sides, it is go going to join in one place will be called as a, that is the place Piccadilly Circus, right? So, steps into the middle of the road and puts out his hand. He is the symbol not of tyranny but of liberty. So, now you can imagine a place like a Piccadilly Circus, that is, four places where it is joining in the one place, right? So, four roads will be there, so four sides. From this side, that side, and this side, all the sides, the vehicle will be coming on, right? So imagine in the center of this place, one policeman is standing, right? So what is the reason of this policeman to stand there? To control this traffic. If he is not there, that will be as totally collapsed in the town. Uh, that there may an uh, accident may occur, right? So like this, all the things may happen. So what he is doing? He is going to make the one side persons to stop and the other side persons to go. He will be allowing, right? This is the way of the policeman to do that traffic. Uh, everything he will clear. So what he is doing? If you, he is, this man is standing and stopping you, will you think that this man is not allowing me? He is not stopping my liberty. My wish is to go wherever I want. Why should he has to stop my liberty? Have you ever thought like that? No, you cannot think like that because if he is not there, the social, social uh, the place in the uh, road will get confused, right? It will collapse. So you cannot tell that this man is stopping your liberty, right? Yeah. When the policeman say at Piccadilly Circus steps into the middle of the road and puts out his hand, he is not, uh, the symbol not of tyranny. Autocracy is the meaning of tyranny, right? So you cannot tell he is controlling your, you, but he is uh, having giving you a liberty. Liberty means freedom he is giving you, right? You may not think so. You may be in the hurry and seeing your car pulled up by his insolence of officer, feel that your liberty has been outraged. How dare this fellow interfere with your free use of the public highway? Then, if you are a reasonable person, you will reflect that if he did not interfere with you, he would interfere with no one. And the result would be that Piccadilly Circus would be a maelstrom that you would never cross at all. Have you understood what is this? So now imagine that if he is not doing this work properly or if he is doing this work properly and he is asking that uh, officers to come and pull up your uh, car. If you are going in a wrong way, if you are uh, parking your vehicle in a wrong place, what he, the police will do? He will come and pull up your car and he will take it out, right? So when he is doing such a thing, that is an insolence of officer, that is an insolence means the rudeness of the person who is doing. The officers will not be very kind to you, right? Why did you stop here? Please take it like that. They won't say. What they will be doing? They will be doing the actions in a very rude way. They will pull up your car and they will take it out, right? So like this when it is going on, you should not feel that your liberty is outraged, right? You will not feel that your liberty has been removed from you. You cannot feel that. Instead of that, whether you will be asking how dare you uh, interfere in my own personal uh, uh, car or personal uh, way, how can you interfere like that? You cannot have a question to that person. If you ask such a question to that person, what you can say, you can, uh, he will not be able to do the same thing to the others also. Right? If some other people is parking or if they are coming in a wrong way, how can this policeman question to him? Whether he can question to the others? If he is not questioning to you, he cannot question to the others also, right? So what will happen? You have to 
uh, you have they have the chance to or such a questions are so if the person the police is not doing his own work it uh, the piccadilly circus will become as a maelstrom what is meant by maelstrom utter confusion it all will become in a very confused way right so what you have to do you have submitted to your curtailment of private crime curtailment means already i told you curtail means reduce down so what you have to do you have to reduce your own private liberty in order that you may enjoy your social order which makes your liberty a reality so what is going to do if you curtail your own uh, private liberty what you can do you can enjoy the social in the society you can enjoy so always when you wanted to have the happiness in the society your own personal liberty what you have to do you have to reduce or you have to curtail which makes the liberty a reality so that liberty you will be you will be facing in a reality and you will be enjoying that right so have you got what is that in this par paragraph he said uh, first one one old lady she is walking on the street and she is telling wherever i wanted i'll be walking like that he said and now in the second paragraph he is telling about the he is giving example with the piccadilly circus the policeman he is your controlling means what will happen all the six is said in the second paragraph right <coughs> so the remaining paragraph we will see in the next class clear okay thank you students